The Ad Show. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So today we are going to be doing a Lego investing video. It's been a very, very long time on the channel since I did a Lego investing video, but I wanted to revisit this and I wanted to get back involved with Lego investing in a little bit more of a bigger way. I have still been investing in Lego for the past two years or however long it's been since I did a video, but I've not really been uh, massively involved in the market like I was a couple of years ago. And I want to get back to that a little bit more. I want to obviously do a little bit more of Lego investing. Obviously at the moment, budgets are going to be very, very tight. They're not going to be what they were, um, and I can't spend as much on Lego at the moment, which is a shame because I really would like to invest um, a good a chunk of money into Lego. Um, but yeah, today what we're going to do is we're going to go through and I'm going to show you my kind of way, I suppose, or my kind of method, if you like, of essentially picking out some sets that may be profitable in the midterm. So I'm talking maybe one to two years, maybe a little bit longer than that. But but generally, I like to go between that one and two years because it's a nice time frame. I mean, you don't really well, personally, I don't want to be waiting three, four, five years for uh, a set to mature and, and develop in, in price, obviously, after it's retired. Um, really, you know, I like that sort of one to two years. Sometimes some sets do really Really, really well in a matter of six months and that's brilliant but normally you know I do like to stick with that sort of one to two years and, and that's a good little time frame so what we're gonna do is we're, we're starting off here on the Lego website uh, and I'm just gonna take a look a first cursory glance at the website see what we can see on it and then I'm gonna go, go into a few themes and stuff and then we're gonna head over to another couple of websites to show you a little bit of my process of maybe how I determine uh, some sets might be good over other ones that might not be so good very very simple process it's not rocket science at all is simply just doing a few little checks and then also the does come in with with lego investing in particular i mean really with investing as a, as a field there's always a little bit of this within it and that's just uh, being intuitive and having also a little bit of that gut feeling a little bit of that gut instinct not too much of that because obviously you don't want to just go on gut instinct you want some sort of facts or figures to back up that gut instinct but alongside the facts and figures a little bit of that gut instinct a little bit of that intuitiveness uh, does go a long way and that has actually helped me a lot so sometimes trusting that gut instinct is, is sometimes a good thing but also we've got to be aware as i say of those facts and figures to, to back that up a little bit as well so we are on the lego website here um, and i'm just going to have a look down the site first off so you see we've got some trending now sets explore the open seas wing their creativity just some just some either new sets or the also the eternal themes here of city and friends um and you can see here we've got the lego house um home of a brick now i've actually already seen these sets and these sets intrigue me so for example this is something again where we can we can read between the lines a little bit here so just in straight from the lego house get these exclusive sets available for a limited time only on lego.com so you can see there straight away we've got exclusive sets and then also available for a limited time only so so that piques my interest there with regards to those sets those sets are something um, that possibly we want to be having a look at because we know they're exclusive we know they're here for a limited time only so if they're here for a limited time only not as many people are going to be picking them up on the lego site because they're only there for a short window and therefore it opens it up to a secondary market like ebay or amazon in the future when obviously the price can go up once they're not available on lego obviously it's just supply and demand um so that's something in that interests me we've got some features Featured sets down here um, we've got some like sort of Mario sets which I'm not gonna look into today because I don't know about the Mario sets really if I mean really with everything we could go two ways we could do really well and they could surprise me in, in the uh, sort of secondary market in the kind of investing sphere um, or they could do terribly I just I don't know I just don't particularly like the look of them myself but you've always got to be careful of your own suggestive nature in terms of um 
you've got to be careful that your own opinion doesn't just sway your decisions because ultimately there might be some sets that end up doing really, really well that you actually don't like or you don't have any appeal towards. Um, but if you didn't buy them just because of your own opinion, you, you've lost out really. So you've got to be careful on that as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, I all, always, obviously, I always go into... Um, here the sort of the offers and sales page so you see on the offers page we have a free lamborghini uh, gift dad the perfect father's day gift free with purchases over 35 pound so this is another thing with the lego site whenever i'm buying on the lego site i always make sure to buy when there are these uh, free gifts on so you can see uh, if we purchase 35 pound i believe that's of any set i don't think it's specific to speed champions but if you purchase £35 with your Lego, you get this little poly bag. So, shall we actually just go into this? And uh, I want to see the... I want to actually see where... I don't know where it says... I don't actually know where it says um, the uh, set number on here. One second. Let, let me see if I can find the set number for you and then... I'll come back. So, I've found the set number. So, let's go over to eBay and let's type in the set number. Between that 8 and £10, but let's go £9 as an average. So, if we were to buy, where is it here? Let me check on here, right there. So, if we were to buy £35 worth of stuff, we could get this free Lamborghini that then we could sell on eBay for £9 and potentially take £9 off our order. And also, we'll get some VIP points if we are uh, signed up with LEGO as well uh, on the VIP program. We'll get some VIP points that go towards uh, reducing our spend the next time we purchase on LEGO. So, for example, it's just like Sainsbury's or Tesco's or supermarket points. Um, you essentially can get, you can rack up some points and, um, or probably Nectar points is a, is a better example actually. I don't know whether the supermarkets themselves actually do specific points anymore. They did do at one time, but yeah, um, maybe Nectar points, something like that. You rack up your Nectar points and then you can obviously spend them in the supermarket and it means you get some money off your shop. Basically the same as that. So doubling up on those things is good. So you get your VIP points and you get your free gift. So obviously you're getting a little bit off your order there basically. So I always try and buy with that free gift. So that's another another little tip, another little thing to do uh, with regards to actually when you're buying off Lego Shop at home and uh, to obviously reduce your spend as well. So first off, let me go into... Um, the, uh, well, let me go back up, where, where was that thing actually, let me go, um, oh, I don't know where that, those houses were, let me go back down to here, there, right, so let's go to the houses here, um, and you see we've got a Lego house and we've got a down, dinos at the door, so dinosaurs are always good, dinosaurs are, dinosaurs are a theme that generally do good, I don't know about the current run of Jurassic World sets. I don't know how well they're doing because they've been out for quite a while. Um, it's making me think that maybe they're not going to do as well as some other sets. But dinos are normally good. So let's take these here. Uh, let's go on to here. So you can see these are, this is $74.99 this set, which is quite a, a kind of pricey set really, quite a, um, a sort of expensive set. You can see we've got the, the set number down here. So what I do is just first off, I copy the set number, uh, and what I'll, what I'll first do is just paste it into Brickset. Now, with so this is Brickset, this website. You can see here, United Kingdom. Uh, so what I'm, what I'm looking at here is the availability at lego.com. So you see, United Kingdom, 8th of May to now. So it's a relatively new set. However, we know that these sets are limited edition. So it might be an, an opportunity to buy these within the next month or so, because we don't know how long these are going to sell, stay on the shelves. It might be that these stay on the shelves for six months or so. Um, most probably around that, I would say. Um, but we really don't know. I would, I would hesitate to say, say they're going to stay on the shelves for one year or two years. Because LEGO themselves have said this is a limited edition set. And if LEGO themselves are saying that it's a limited edition set, it won't have a normal production run of maybe 12 months or 24 months and so that means that it'll probably be less than that maybe as i say around the six months so really this is a set that 
even though it's only just come out, it might be advantageous to buy um, it's pretty much kind of straight away, so long as you can get, um, you know, sort of some decent deal on it. You can see here on the sold listings, 10th of June, that one there went for £100 plus £6 postage. You can see there, £119 on that one, £90 on that one, £100 on that one, £92 on that one, £90 on that one. For the pair there, the tree and the dinosaurs, you've got £165. But you see, I mean, anywhere, I mean, we're coming in really at 90 to 100 to be honest. That's pretty, I mean, except for that one on auction, but that was a little bit of an an anomaly with regards to the other ones. 90 to 100 and then you can see there that one did get 100, practically 120 And you can see they are on Lego Shop at Home for 74 99 So that's a first, or, or really a second good point. So we've had two good things with it set so far. Um, but if you've obviously been following and you've been reading, reading between the lines a little bit, you will have picked up on. So first off, we had the exclusive, it's an exclusive set and it's a limited edition set. That make that gives you a bit of intrigue, makes you think, ah, hang on a minute, this might be a good set to invest in. Next, we come on eBay and we see that they're going for well above retail price already with the height being £119, which is what, about 40 quid or just over 40 quid above retail? Um, maybe even close to 50 quid above retail, about maybe 45 quid above retail price. That is incredible. That means that you could buy this set now, and although it wouldn't be an incredible profit after eBay fees and postage and stuff, you could still make profit on this set now. I mean, that's reason enough to take a punt on this set. So that's another good thing we've seen. That ticks off that box, essentially. Now, of course, this is a LEGO exclusive set, so it shouldn't be, be available at other retailers. I doubt it will be. I've not checked online, but that's another check you could do. You could go online and you could check on Google Shopping or something like that, type it in and see if it is available anywhere else. But it shouldn't be except on, obviously, LEGO and then any eBay sellers have got it on, maybe on Amazon possibly as well. Um, but yeah, so that's a really good thing because other uh, other stores haven't stocked it. So then that's another third thing that, that is ticked off the list. And I actually had a... Uh, video sort of like five tips to Lego investing success which I'm kind of retracing in this video a little bit while we're doing this kind of looking at sets to invest in but that is a really good uh, I think it's a fairly concise video as well maybe about 10 minutes or so really good video to look at it still has relevance today as well so I will hopefully rem uh, remember to put a link to that in the description so so far we've got like sort of three good points and it's saying it's an exclusive set limited edition and it's going for above retail on eBay. So that's really, really good. So right now I can say this is looking like a decent set. The other thing is it's a dinosaur theme. Dinosaur themes, generally, not always, but generally, um, they do quite well. So now we can also say, well, we've got the, the Lamborghini freebie as well. So that means we get, essentially, we'll get our VIP points, which I don't know what it's saying. It doesn't say here because I don't know whether I'm logged in or not. I'm not sure whether I'm logged in. But you probably get, does it? Oh, there we go. There it said. No, it does say 600 VIP points. Now, I think it's 2,300 for £20 off. So if you divide, uh, well, basically, yeah, divide that by four, you're getting basically £5 um, off your next order. So when you, if you buy this, you'll get five pound off your next order. Essentially, um, you'll obviously have to accumulate your points to the two thousand three hundred, and then you'll be able to get the twenty pound off. But those six hundred points will go towards that. So it's five pound off your next order. Essentially, so you're getting five pound off your next order anyway. So that basically takes you down to seventy quid. So you're not getting this set for seventy five if you are a Lego VIP member. Um, which is, it's free to be a LEGO VIP member, there's nothing involved with that really. Um, so, you're getting it for 70 quid anyway. Then you're getting your free Lamborghini for 9 quid. So, obviously, you, if you sell that on eBay, you've got a few costs and stuff. But maybe, let's say, after costs and stuff, you get a net profit of 6 quid, something like that, that off that little poly bag. So, then that takes you from 70 quid down to 64 quid. So, now, basically, you've got this set for 64 quid, right? 
So you got that for 64 quid. Now, if you can get 100 quid now, if you get 90 to 100 now, with the pot potential to get 110 quid or 120 quid, even right now, then that's brilliant. That's like, yeah, okay, get it, because you're almost doubling your money without even waiting any time whatsoever. So that's a really, really good thing. Um, and so you could see when this set retires and what retirement is, is basically just when Lego stops producing the set anymore uh, and therefore it's not available on Lego, uh, Lego uh, Shop at Home, Lego.com, just not available. Then that means that on the secondary market like eBay and Amazon, things like that, the price is going to slowly rise. And again, it's a dinosaur theme, so that might help it a little bit as well. It's an exclusive set. All these things play in the mind of the collector and think, oh, I really want this and then obviously the demand is going to creep up when the supply simply isn't there and potentially in a year's time this set I could see this very well being you know in a year after retirement not necessarily a year from today but a year after it retires it could very well be creeping up to that £150 something like that um, that's what I would I would imagine a set like this would do um, so yeah, you know, there's there's no reason if you're getting it for for 64 quid as an investment, that's not too bad at all. Um, I mean, basically, if you were to sell it in a year's time, um, that's over double your money. That's basically two and a half times your money. Now, also, I've actually got a few VIP points to spend. I've just kind of been racking up a few VIP points, so I could also use my VIP points against this as well, and then maybe get this set for. 20 quid 30 quid something like that and then obviously that's an added bonus um but really i mean it's just one of those sets that um is is just a simply a uh, pretty good set to invest in uh, just just as is really as, as so long as you're getting that free gift so that's one there but you know i mean if you think about it, you're going to have to spend a lot. If you want to make a lot of money with this, you're going to have to spend a lot of money. And that's the thing with Lego investing. You do have to have... I mean, you don't have to have a lot of startup capital because you could invest £10 in one set and then just wait a year and then sell it in a year. You know, there is flexibility there. But let's be honest, we want to make, or a lot of people want to make, a decent amount of money, not just a small amount of money. So, you know, if, if you do want to make a decent amount of money, you are going to have to invest... A little bit more but there's also sets that as I say you can get for £10 and you can maybe spread your risk over a number of sets and you can uh, get a nice variety of sets and maybe on certain sets they actually go up quite quickly or quite high and therefore you get a better margin for example there were some speed champion sets I invested in a couple of years ago which I was investing in anywhere between about 10 and then uh, 10 pound and then the retail price of I think it was 12.99 or 13.99 I think it was 12.99 and those went up pretty quickly within 6 to 12 months they had gone triple the price that they were on Lego shop at home before they retired and so with things like that you know obviously you can flip them within 12 months you can get your money out of them well way more than your money out of them good bit of profit out of them and then you've got a bit more money there to then reinvest so let's just go on uh, well you know first as I say I like to have a look at the offers and sales so let's go um, to the sale because we didn't actually go on to the sale here you can see I mean there's not that much. I did have a cursory look at the sale the other day. There's not much really on here at the moment with the sale. Um, I don't particularly like these action battle assault sets. I, I'm not going to say if they're going to do well or not because I really don't know. That's the, that's the thing with LEGO investing. You can make um, educated guesses based on the sales data and based on your, your instincts and stuff. But you really don't know. I mean, I've made a few mistakes in the past. I've made some brilliant um brilliant purchases but I've made some mistakes as well luckily uh, my successes have far outweighed my mistakes which which I'm very thankful for um, but you know at the moment I can't necessarily necessarily say that's a bad set or that's a good set but from a personal opinion from maybe even a bit of gut instinct as well aside from that and and just going off experience I don't know whether that's going to be the best set it, it, I think it has a couple of minifigures and stuff and it just doesn't look like you're getting much substance there for 21, uh, well, for 25 pound of the retail. Um, so I wouldn't really buy that. And there's not many other sets here. I mean, Buzz and Woody's Carnival Mania. I'd have to look into that one to be honest. Um, but yeah, I just don't. I mean, and 15% isn't like an incredible discount. It's not. It's not 25 or 30%. So you know, I mean, although there's a discount there. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, it might be worth it if, let's say, you could... Act, I, I assume you still get your Lamborghini if you purchase any even in the sale. So, um, you know, maybe that Buzz and Woody's one with a 15% off and then, obviously, the Lamborghini that you can sell on top of that, bringing that cost down to maybe, like, £31, £32 from a £45 retail, that might be okay because there you're looking about 30% off, something like that. Um, but, yeah, I don't know about a Buzz and Woody's. I'm not really looked into uh, the Buzz Lightyear stuff or Toy Story stuff, I should say. Um, so, yeah, uh, look at the sale. Sale, nothing really on the sale, but it's always good to have a look at the sale because you never know. You really do never know. So, I always go to Speed Champions because Speed Champions have done well for me in the past. Now, are they the same at the moment as they were I feel like they're tailing off a little bit, but there's, some of them are still pretty good. So this one is the one that a lot of um, investors and also a lot of Bricklink sellers at the moment who sell on Bricklink are kind of, you know, thinking about looking at um, because it seems to be the, the one that um, interests a few people. So essentially... Um, I will be able to get this for a little bit cheaper, obviously, if I were to get my free gift. Um, so it might come in at maybe uh, £14, £15 uh, per one with my free gift, obviously. So let's go down here. And first, we need to do a little check on uh, Brickset. So we can do a bit better of a check this time on, on Brickset with this one. So we're just going to paste the set number in there. It's not just the availability. You can look at, you know, the price per piece, the uh, current value, all these different things, RRP. Um, now, the current value there, it says £13. I don't know where they're getting that from, but I'm pretty sure on eBay this is going for around retail, if not above retail, twenty one ninety five. 25.99, 16.99, so a little bit below retail on that one. 20.99, 17.99 plus post. 15, 21, 27.99 on that one, a bit of a, an anomaly there. But you see, possibly around the 20 quid. So it is going for above retail. It's not going for astronomically above retail or anything like that. Let's go down here at the availability because that's the thing I want to check. So you can see here uh, in the United Kingdom, this has been available from Jan the 1st, 2020 to now, which is the 12th of June, 2020. So you see. Really, we might want to be waiting a little bit longer on this set. Maybe uh, just just sort of see uh, when this might be marked as retiring soon or when this might be marked down a little bit or if it will be marked down a little bit in a sale. Maybe we, we look at other places, not just Lego Shop at Home with this set, but maybe look on the web at other places to see if we can't get this for a bit of a discount. If I were to obviously buy a few of these um, and then, well, let's say I was to buy two of these, I'll have to do a quick little jot down here. Um, so we've got £18, so we'll get two of them, which would, would, would cost basically £36, which would then get us the £9 uh, set of the Lamborghini, which again, we're going to be making about uh, £6 or so net profit on that. So we minus £6 off the of 36 to get £30, divide the 30 by 2, because we're buying two sets, and we get £15. So we're not getting them for £18, we're getting them for £15. It's not bad, but really, what is it in terms of a discount? Maybe 10%, maybe close to 15%, something like that. And considering we're going to, for 20 quid, maybe subtly over 20 quid, maybe if you wait it out a little bit, you might get 23 quid. That's not bad. I mean, they're selling for above retail, they're selling for above the £15 that we can potentially get them for. Um, but they're not, I don't think they're going to retire quite yet. I don't, I think we've got a little bit more time on their run, really. Um, and so maybe we want to wait on this one. Maybe we want to see when Lego gives us a better gift because sometimes there's more expensive gifts. As we come close to Christmas, they, they give us um, like bigger gifts and stuff like that. So, yeah, we might have to spend £75 to get the, the better gift, but maybe that gift goes for £25 on eBay or something like that. And so then, we, as a as sort of uh, working it out, obviously based on how many of these we buy and what the free gift costs and stuff, we could possibly get a better discount 
on these and maybe we could get these for around the 12 or 13 pound a piece maybe we could go online um, and find some deals where they're around the 12 or 13 pound per piece and if we can do that it might be subtly hard because sometimes with the speed champions normally they only do a, a sort of a maximum of about 20 percent off but you might be able to get that certainly at Christmas when they do the free gift and you you incorporate these in your order with the free gift you probably would be able to do something like that get them for around 12 13 and then you can see there's a little bit better margin because after they've retired which might be next year sometime after they've retired you'll be able to obviously um, wait a year or so and these these very well could be going on eBay for £35, something like that. And if you've sunk, obviously, £12 or £13 into each one of these, you have almost tripled your money there within about a year or just over a year. So you could see how these do quite well. Now, obviously... You, you want a little bit of proof of that, right? You want me to um, to give you a little bit of proof of, of, of how that could, could possibly be. So I'm going to um, type in a Speed Champions. Now, I forgot the set number of the one that I want to check on. And we could always do the, the La Ferrari. Um, is there any view all matching sets? There we go. We could do the Chevrolet, Chevrolet Corvette. This was one that I got heavily invested in. I, I bought about, um, so that's 75871. So I actually bought about 25 of these. Oh, 8871, eight, isn't it? Right, so these were retailing at £13, okay? And you can see that here, and this was maybe about, oh, we're, we're looking about 18 months, two years ago, something like that. Now, in fact, we could probably go in and we, we could maybe see when this, when this was, um, oh no, it was actually, yeah, we're getting on for, uh, when was that, so, so let's say, uh, end of 2017, so basically, tw start of 2018, so start of 20, yeah, so we're, we're looking about two, oh, well, over two years ago now, but these have kind of, they've hit the mark, they, they hit their top end, basically, about a year ago, so, after about 18 months of retirement, about about that sort of mark, about one year, six months, they hit their kind of peak. On Amazon, their peak was like 50 quid. It was it was quite a, a high price. And now they're just kind of steadying out, out a little bit more. I sold all of mine on Amazon for around the 50 quid. Uh, well, actually, I did sell a few on eBay, but the majority of them I sold on Amazon. So we're just going to sort by new so then... Um, because that's the condition we're going to be buying them in and we're going to be investing with them in. So you can see here, after a couple of years, this retail, this the retail price for this was actually twelve ninety nine. It wasn't the seventeen ninety nine that that other one was. That other set is a little bit bigger. So twelve ninety nine the retail price on this. I was also getting about twenty percent off. So sometimes I would get them for just over ten quid. Uh, and you can see here, brand new. We've got thirty eight pound on bids. Brand new there, £45. Brand new, £40. Uh, brand new, £41 plus post. Brand new, £50 best offer accepted. So maybe they accepted 45 quid, maybe 40 quid. Uh, brand new, 43 43 42 99 52 there, which is like the top end of, of what they what they command, really. 42 99 47 99 there. You can see as you go on. Um, and then maybe towards Christmas, obviously, things come back around again. Popularity comes back around again with a lot of these speed champions and Lego sets at Christmas. Things go up in value around Christmas. Maybe the, these would possibly go up a little bit maybe 55 pounds you might be able to get but you can see there if you're getting these on a discount and you just wait a year and a half something like that you could really do quite well on these obviously we are now at the two and a half year mark but these as i say have been at the top end of around 50 quid for quite a while now uh, they've been at that for maybe a year or 18 months so very very quickly after retirement some of these speed champions do actually go up in price and they do spike um, quite quite well really so that's one to obviously have on the back burner it's one to look at in the future and it's one to see where we can get discounts with and things like that so obviously just uh, to, to wrap up I suppose 
The sets that maybe we don't want to invest in so much are things like, uh, well, for example, can we go on? Yeah, there we go. So we can go on the city sets here. And while some of the city Arctic range, the Arctic sets can be quite good to invest in, or some, some of them can, a lot of the city sets, like the Ocean Explorer, things like that, the airports and stuff, they, they, they're not really the best to invest in unless you are getting them. I always say to myself, if I can find city sets at maybe 50% off, I'll try them out. If they've got like a, a unique minifigure in there or if they've got a unique animal in there or something. Um, with the exception of maybe some of the Arctic sets, maybe I'll get them uh, maybe a little bit less than 50% off. But I don't really pick up city sets these days unless they are a big discount. And that is, that is a rarity these days uh, that, they are, that they do actually have a big discount. I mean... This one look interest, looks interesting here. I think that's like a, a hammerhead. Uh, is it a hammerhead shark? Yeah, it looks like a hammerhead shark or something. So that looks like an interesting one. Um, well, actually, let's just have a look at this one. I doubt this is going to be um, anything brilliant or anything. But it just intrigued me with the with the hammer the hammerhead shark. There. I've not I've not seen that in a set previously. It probably has been in a set previously that I've just not seen. Um, but let's just you know just check this one. But what I would say, just I know we are checking this one, but obviously these city sets, they're, n they're really not worth uh, investing in. Be very careful when you invest in these. If they've got a good part or a good piece in and you can get them for a good discount, maybe maybe try it out. Um, but just, yeah, just be careful. So you can see here already availability at lego.com. They've only just come out about 10 days ago. So this is, this is a very, very new set. It's an eight ninety nine set. One minifigure, a nice little hammerhead shark, you've got this little submarine, and you've got a little treasure chest and stuff. The only real draw to this set for me personally, I mean the submarine is nice, but the only draw for me is that hammerhead shark, I quite like that. So let's type this in, and then what we're also going to do is we're going to look at the hammerhead sharks, and I see it might not have even come on. So you can see here, uh, oh hang on, hang on, that's not even coming up. That's coming up with a different set, is that, is that what looks like the pizza van or something, is it? Yeah, so these are these literally. It, it's such a fresh set that these probably won't even be on eBay yet. There, there's one over in America, so we don't even have any data to go off. With that set, with the addition of the Hammerhead Shark, maybe if that is a new piece, that maybe gives a little bit of a draw to the set. But even so, even if it is a new piece, I would be, ha I would have to get this for 50% off, and even then, I might not even pick it up, even if it was on the shelf at 50% off, because I'm thinking, yeah, but is it really going to go up? I mean, I, I don't know. Obviously, at this point now, as you can see, there's no data available. I can't tell you whether this set is good or bad. All I can say is it's a city set, um, and it's probably not going to go up massively, because, um, you know, it, it just is from that kind of eternal range that keeps getting reproduced. Um, the only thing I could say is maybe the Hammerhead Shark will redeem it. Maybe that will be interesting to some people. And maybe, which I highly doubt it, uh, highly, highly doubt it, but maybe if that Hammerhead Shark is exclusive to this set, then that would obviously bring the price up. But I doubt it will be. That Hammerhead Shark, if it is a new piece, if it is a new minifigure or whatever, or it is a new animal figure or whatever, then uh, that will be in the bigger set as well. So, um, yeah, I, I, I would really err on the side of caution with a lot of these city sets. I would be careful because they don't really go up that much. The other one you've got to be careful with is, like, Lego Friends and stuff. Friends is a little bit different. You can actually... I've actually had a, a little bit more success with Friends than I have with, um, you know, like with the Lego City and things like that. And there can be some Friends sets that, that do quite well. The Disney Princesses, is the Princesses still on here? Don't I don't know whether there is uh, Disney Princesses still on here, but there was at some point anyway. Uh, did you do it? Dis ah, well, there you go, yeah, Lego Disney. It'll be under Lego Disney, won't it? And, uh, you know, the Lego princesses sometimes can do well. Uh, you've got, like, Elsa's Magic Palace and stuff there. Um, so, you know, some of the Lego princesses can do well, but they're very hit and miss these time this time. Um, I, by the way, I wasn't saying that Elsa's Castle is, is one that's going to do well or not. I just picked that one out at random, by the way, just as an example there. Um... 
But, you know, so some of the princesses might do well, but you've got to be careful again on these um, at the moment. I mean, the Duplo, I never invest in Duplo. I don't know whether it's good to invest in or not. I would probably say it's not as good to invest in. Um, but, you know, again, with these things, you do want to be getting a good discount on them, maybe 20 30% if you can, 30% really. Um, another good one to invest in is the Ideas sets. I suppose I'll very, very quickly, because there was one set I'm, I'm looking to invest in in the Ideas set. So we've got these uh, Dinosaur Fossils one that I might be looking to invest in. Um, so obviously, if I were to buy this with the, uh, you know, with the, obviously the, uh, free gift at the moment, then I'd get like six, uh, six pound off or so. Um, so that would be like, you know, 48 quid. It's coming in around 48, 49 quid. So if I go on eBay and I type in this, uh, one there, 73 best offer, maybe they accepted 60 or 65, 56, 74 there, um, 56 again, you know, so it's not the most brilliant set after all, really. I mean, maybe I've uh, you know, said, said obviously I'm looking to invest in it there, but it's not the most, most brilliant set, but the fact it's dinosaurs, um, I think that although maybe it's not selling for hugely above retail at the moment, I do think that this set might do something. I mean, if I could get this, I mean, maybe again, it's one to put on the back burner a bit. If I could maybe get pick these up for £10 less, maybe about 45 quid, um, and then maybe the retire... I can see these sets doing okay in the secondary market a year after retirement. I can see these going up to around the £100, something like that. I mean, you can see on, on one or two of these sets, they've got 70 quid right away here. So, um, yeah, I could, I could probably, probably see these going up to about £100 a year or so after retirement. But, you know, I mean, you, you're spending 45 quid to get 100 quid. Uh, it's whether you want to do that, really. I mean, it still is over double your money. It's still an okay investment, for sure. Um, but then again, maybe there's ways you could possibly get it for even cheaper. Maybe there's ways you could possibly get it a bit cheaper. But you're not going to get much more than 20% off these ideas sets. You're really, you, you're quite lucky to get 20% or 25% off these idea sets and 20% off that would be 11 quid so you'd be looking what about 44 quid something like that so it's one to look at as well it's one to think about um and, and that was an idea set that just intrigued me again it's a dinosaur theme so that could help it um don't really know about the steamboat willy and things like that central perk is one that maybe i wish i picked up but it's out of stock now um then we've got the treehouse. I don't know. I've not. I've not looked it, into these two here. But you can see a lot of these um, dinosaur fossils ones and stuff. A lot of these are hard to find. The um, idea sets, which is good. So let's just plug this into brick set finally here. Um, yeah. So a lot of these. If you go on Google Shopping or anything, you'll find that these are a little bit not not incredibly hard to come by, but a little bit harder to come by. Now you can see here uh, we've got November 2019 to now. So some of the Lego Adventure, uh, sorry, so, some of the Lego idea sets have a run of a year. Some of them have a run of around 24 months, but some of them have a run of 12 months. Now, if this is going to be a 12-month run, we can see we're slowly, slowly but surely getting to the time where it's going to obviously be highlighted as retiring soon. But you never know, it might stay on for another while after that. You, you don't know particularly. Um... But yeah, so, um, you know, it's been out for a little bit, so it's one to keep an eye on again. Might be one again for uh, Christmas orders when there's those free gifts and stuff, or maybe looking elsewhere and seeing if you can get it for a discount elsewhere if possible. Um, but yeah, so so a lot of these uh, are interesting because they are hard to find. The Flintstones one, I'm not 100% sure, and we'll just very, very quickly whack this into, because I, I actually just, uh, I'm doing a bit of my own research here while I'm on the video, because, um, yeah, this one just interests me. I don't think this one's, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure on this one. I don't really think it's, yeah, I mean, there's, there's a few that have gone just above retail, but I really don't know on that Flintstones one. I'm not. I, my my gut instinct just tells me mm, I, I'm not too taken by it, let's say. But uh, you can see that was March 2019. So I mean, this is coming to this is really getting close to retirement here, 
We've had a year and three months now on this set. We, it's probably going to be a two-year run, so we've maybe got a seven, eight months left or so. I don't know around that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it, it really depends. Let, let's go and buy it now here. One went 52. One went for 64 there, so that's not so bad. 52, 52. But bear in mind, this is a £55 set. So, I mean, if these are going for 52, that's below retail. And yeah, you've got a couple there that went for above retail. Uh, well, this one and, and that one up there. Um, but I'm just not so certain with this one. And again, if this is going to be a two-year run, it's been out for a while. I mean, people have had their chance to buy it. Um, now, obviously, I could get this set for a little bit cheaper with a free gift at the moment. And also, I'll get a few, not not tons, but I'll get a few VIP points, which will, which will give me a little bit off a next order or, or an order in the future. So that's not too bad. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I don't know on that one. I'm not too keen. But, anyway, I'm going to leave it there because this will have been about a 35-minute video or something crazy at the moment. I really did want to highlight uh, my kind of way of picking out sets. And also, I do a few other different things as well. Sometimes I'll check on Bricklink. Sometimes I'll go, as I say, on Google Shopping, which I haven't done today. Um, just, a, just a whole host of different things. I'll obviously do a bit of research in terms of the sentiment within the LEGO community. So what I mean by that is I do watch a few LEGO channels, uh, haul videos and things like that. And watching those videos, although they may be collectors and they're not investors, it's very, very good because what you get is you get the feel of the collector for the set. So there might be some people who really, you know, were saying on haul videos, oh, this set is absolutely awesome. And if one person who's a, an adult fan of LEGO, an a fall, if one person who's that is saying that, and then maybe you see another person say it on another video that you watch, then the sentiment might be actually that that set is really good. And if that set's really good, and it's also a limited edition set, so you, what you've got there is you've got the, a good sentiment from the collectors, you've got a limited edition set, it might be selling for above retail on eBay already, even though it's available on Lego Shop at home at the retail price. Um, it might be, for example, that it's coming to the end of its run and it's retiring soon, all of these things, it might be that you get a really good free gift on Lego at that time, so that obviously means that you get it for less. Um, or it might be that there is a direct sale on that item and you can get it for 20% off. All these things coming into yourself, all these things you can collate in your mind alongside your own experience and your gut instinct to say, yes, that is a blooming good set. So it, it's a whole range of things that I use really to be able to say, yeah, I'm going to do that. And it might sound like a lot of hard work, but this is where you have to really love Lego. Now, I don't build Lego anymore. Um, I just, I don't know, I have this affinity towards it. That's the best way to describe it. I just love uh, picking it up. I love um, immersing myself in that world, essentially. But I'm a bit of a, a an odd person because... I'm not necessarily a builder of Lego, but I, I just enjoy being around it. I enjoy being immersed in that world. I enjoy looking at the sets. I enjoy, um, you know, seeing the minifigures and things like that. And as I say, I did build it for a while. I had a lot of sets on that shelf. I had Doctor Who set. I had um, the Ghostbusters Ecto-1. I had Star Wars sets. I had like a, a big TIE fighter and things like that. I did used to build it, but at the moment I don't build it. And I just enjoy... Uh, looking at it basically and enjoying it and I enjoy uh, watching videos of, of other people building and other people getting Lego hauls and things like that. So with that being said, I'll leave it there guys. I hope you did get some worth out of this video. I know it was a long one, but I really do uh, think that this will have been good to get some good worth out of um, obviously Lego investing and hopefully making it a little bit of profit for yourselves in the future. I will be back with another Lego investing at some point. I am going to be buying Lego sets in the future. Um, I'm not going to be buying uh, loads and loads of Lego sets because obviously the budget at the moment won't allow me to do that. Um, certainly you might see in hauls in the future some of the sets we have been looking at here um, and I will do a Lego haul for that. So that being said, I'll leave it there guys and I will see you in the next one. So see you very soon guys.